This video will provide a demonstration on the interactive visualization of refugee demographics in the United States, an application developed by Sophie Najar, Peter Ryan, Rishi Guo, and Vivaldi Rinaldi. Before doing a live demo of the visualization, I would like to briefly introduce the topic and provide some background information about making this application to you. I will also discuss some of the relevant works associated with refugee visualization in this video. Misconceptions about refugees in the United States are fairly common. This map was inspired by an interest in promoting literacy about refugee distributions in the United States using data from the Office of Refugee Resettlement from 2015. The interest was to educate users about refugee populations in the United States, specifically showing patterns of refugee distribution within specific states and the origins of refugee groups at the national scale. The intent of this map was to access as broad an audience as possible, while also acting as a helpful tool for specialists and nonprofits, researchers, and journalists. There are many currently available representations about visualizing refugee crises in different geographical scales. An early attempt tried to map concentration of migrants was done in 2010 by Cavedo. The researcher successfully located migrant settlements in the study area through visual assessment of identifying clusters. Another interactive application, the JFLOW map, was developed with a space-centric and time-centric view to visualize refugee distribution at a global scale. The temporal view of this application complements the spatial view to reveal changes in refugee population at different time periods. The idea of linking the choropleth to the pie chart and filtering refugee population by continent comes from a history of literature and interactive mapping, from the works of research groups such as Dyke et al. Enhancing the value of the choropleth map in an interactive context is inspired by work from the Adriancos, who premised their research on the notion that traditional and accessible devices can be used in new and effective ways by implementing interactivity such as linking. This is the landing page of the application. There are three main tabs that offer contextual information to the user. The Overview tab gives a brief description of the application. The Instruction tab provides the user with clarifying instructions on how to use the map and the different features the map offers. The About Refugee tab gives background on the history of refugees in the United States. There are two main components to this visualization, the choropleth map and the pie chart. The legend for the pie chart specifies continents and the legend for the choropleth map specifies the classes for the refugee populations. As you can see, there's a wide range of variability in refugee populations from state to state. The first feature you may notice is that mousing over different states reveals pop-ups on the refugee totals for each state. Similarly, mousing over the pie chart shows the total refugee breakdown by continent for the whole country. In order to view the breakdown for just one state, hold click on the desired state till the fill of the state is opaque. By highlighting a specific state, it triggers the link between the choropleth map to the pie chart. The pie chart will then display a state-specific breakdown. As you can see, if I click on Florida, the pie chart will change dramatically. Notice how the proportion of refugees from the Caribbean in Florida becomes larger than it was in the overall country. To unselect Florida, simply click on it, and the map will return to the default total refugees state. To see a breakdown in refugees from a specific continent, click on a specific section in the pie chart. As you can see, by clicking on the Asia section of the pie chart, the choropleth map will be filtered to only show the distribution of Asian refugees. In order to view a composite of multiple continents, click on multiple sections of the pie chart. Here I'm selecting Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. To remove continents from the distribution, unclick them. Unclicking all of the continents will allow the visualization to return to the default setting of all continents. In order to view a composite breakdown of states, click on multiple states, and their combined refugee totals will appear in the pie chart. Here, I'm selecting states on the west coast to show a regional refugee breakdown. There are three main takeaways achieved by this visualization. First, national distribution of refugees by state is disparate. Secondly, the majority of refugees come from specific continents, Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. Third, 
not all states have similar breakdowns of refugees. Here are references that were vital to the development of this application. Thank you for watching this video on the interactive visualization of refugee demographics in the United States. If you have any further inquiries, please refer to the contact information provided.